A year later, Rinse FM begins to broadcast more shows, now during the weekend at the weekend. 91.8 FM is the frequency. Genius and his close friends spend their time moving transmitters and dodging the local police. The studio also moves a few times, but the radio stays on against all the odds. Slimsy, 1995. We'd come on on a carnival day. Um, it was doing really well. Even though like, people were out nicking rigs, trying to nick our rigs, trying to cut us off, nick our aerials. But we just used to like, every day we used to like live for radio. That's all we used to do. We used to like, gee, we stay around my ass. We just used to lift up, listen to rinse, listen to all the graveyard DJs playing. Because what it was, we was both on a station called Pressure FM, me and G, and we got booted off there. And then we wanted to start our own station up because we wanted to come on, like, come on when we want and go off and choose what DJs we wanted. And then we first was looking into it. And then we bought a rig. His transmitters weren't all that good, but they used to go far, like really far. They was like a big, long shape like that. We used to go on the roofs like in a week just to find places where we could put the transmitters and that for rinse. We, just, we used to think about radio rinse like 24 hours a day. We used to write, get all, try and get all the best DJs, try and get all the best MCs. We used to put the aerials on the roof on a Friday between about five and six every Friday, put the aerials up. When, in, when we first switched on, it was in a tall block called Ingram House. We was there for about four, three months every week, just coming on every weekend and that. We was getting complaints from the neighbours. Uh, there was loads of people coming in and out. The security guard downstairs was thinking, what's going on? When it come from the tall block, the studio, it, then it come down to my house for about a year. And like, uh, every, every, all the DJs used to come up, like, just phone me when I was downstairs. And then I used to let them up, sneak up from my, from my house. And my mum would say to me, what's all these people coming up? Who are these people? And she didn't say nothing. Like, I said, oh, I'm just doing tapes and that, mixtapes. Do you know what? I used to get a buzz at a gang on the roof, setting up transmitters, putting aerials up. I used to get a buzz. It can't explain what it does to you like that. Yeah, what it was, we were setting up on the, tra on the whopping block and they put cameras up there, yeah? But they, they was like so small, you couldn't even see the cameras. They was really small, like there was like a little, not even a centimetre long. They was putting them in electric boxes near the doorways to get out on the roof. And they put one like downstairs where you come in, but we used to climb up and, but we, where we sit the electric from, we used to put the plug in and um, used to, they used to see us going in and out. But I clocked it one day and I put a little bit of tape over the hole. But what is that had me and Sterling on, on, on a picture um, and what it was, one of my mates who worked for the council at the time, he said to me, ah, oh, someone's been asking about you. Um, they, they know you're doing radio. I said, stop it before it, stop that, go on to a different block um, before you get nicked or whatever. They told us they got pictures and they're going to come for us. But we still went up on the block and all that. And then next, I don't know, a couple of weeks after that, I got raided. And then I, I said, I got my ASBO. Went and caught, got a 500 pound fine and five year ASBO. <laughs> I couldn't go above um, four stories of any any tall block or anything. So if I had like an aunt who lived on the third on the fifth floor, if I would have got caught going up there, I would I would have went straight like to prison or something. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even set up no more. I couldn't do nothing on the radios. Yeah, we used to get in trouble quite a lot. Like other stations used to say to us, ah. You're nicking our rigs and that, we're going to come and take your rigs or we caught rig thieves on the roof, trying to burn stuff, and, like bait, bait the block up, throw bricks at windows and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, you get all sorts of people trying to give you grief and that.